environment, but also saving money and lots of it. Filling up in your own backyard. Every residence in Australia is a petrol depot. <laughs> Pull in and plug in. A year ago, Richard Gowda bought this Ford Capri for $3,000, then ripped it apart. I removed j roughly just over 208 or 209 kilos out of the car. He's not even a mechanic. Richard is a real estate agent who loves to tinker. He spent $30,000 converting his convertible from petrol powered to electric. A really um, environmentally friendly way to travel without, you know, continuously giving out fumes. And it's quiet. That was the motor starting. Plus... I find uh, ladies are, you know, very interested in electric cars. It's a bit of a cheek magnet. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. So this feels quite smooth. Is there any difference between uh, this and a normal car? Absolutely nothing. Real estate agents spend a lot of time on the roads. Most pay between $100 and $150 a week on petrol. Richard Garda spends just $3.50. That's 70 cents a day. I haven't seen that much difference in my electricity bill. I mean, you know, and I have been driving for the last, you know, since the 11th of March. The Queensland government is considering introducing electric cars into its fleet and test drove Australia's first mass-produced electric car this week. The Mitsubishi Imiev sells for around $60,000 in Japan and will hit the market here next year. And we're still negotiating on, on the final price of uh, the vehicles. It's like any new technology when it first hits the market. Uh, being cutting edge technology, it is expensive. You can do it cheaper. Richard's conversion cost about $25,000, sourcing parts from Australia and overseas. His website can show you how. Sarah Horsley. 10 news. After the